Next is one of our newest faculty members, Serena Young, who's an incoming assistant professor of biomedical data science and by courtesy of electrical engineering. Healthcare is one of society's greatest concerns. And in the US, for example, a sampling of recent news headlines shows the effects of this, spanning from politics to the economy. Despite this, there is a critical problem right now in healthcare, burnout. As our aging population continues to grow, and as healthcare continues to get increasingly, increasingly complex, burnout in physicians and nurses is becoming the new normal, affecting 78% of physicians and 62% of nurses. This can have dangerous consequences in environments like hospitals, where highly complex care takes place. Studies show that burned out doctors are two times more likely to make medical errors, and overworked nurses are associated with a 40% increase in the risk of patient death. Fortunately, AI provides hope for this problem. In other industries such as driving, we're already beginning to see the potential of AI in self-driving cars that can provide constantly aware and untiring assistance to humans. This naturally leads to the question, can we leverage this AI to provide much needed assistance to burnt out physicians and nurses? I believe a key piece of the answer lies in the physical space of healthcare delivery. If we look at these physical spaces where healthcare is actually being executed, our hospitals, clinics, and assisted living facilities, these have remained largely unchanged for decades. My research aims to endow these healthcare spaces with ambient intelligence. In other words, to turn them into intelligent environments where AI can be used to assist with complex care. So what exactly is ambient intelligence? Well, this term was first described by Roel Piper of Phillips in 1999, where he described it as following. The future will be one where our environment satisfies our needs, mostly without our having to think about it. The intelligence is ambient, much like the light in this room. In an environment like a hospital, we can see ambient intelligence as being provided through visual sensors that are embedded in the environment and that can perceive and interpret what's happening across a hospital at every moment in time and use that to assist with clinical care. In my work, we've implemented this vision for ambient intelligence sensing in practice at two partner hospitals, at Lucille Packard Children's Hospital at Stanford and at Intermountain LDS Hospital in Utah. At each of these, we've equipped a pilot hospital unit with about 50 visual sensors in both patient rooms and corridors. These photos show examples of the sensors mounted in our pilot installation units. We use privacy-preserving depth sensors, which collect silhouette-like images based on distance to the sensor. It's an example shown here on the right. Here we can see the depth data from different sensors streaming in across a unit at Lucille Packard Children's Hospital. Now, once we've set up these pilot installations, our main challenge is to actually interpret what's happening in the video data. And so the main focus of my research has been on developing deep learning algorithms to be able to accurately recognize the human activity occurring in video. We've now demonstrated the use of our algorithms to be able to recognize a variety of health critical activities in the hospital continuously and 24 seven. One example is performing hand hygiene, which is an important activity for the prevention of hospital acquired infections. On the left, you can see that the algorithm is recognizing that this person is compliant with protocol by using a hand hygiene dispenser before entering the patient room. Whereas on the right, you can see that the algorithm recognizes that this person walks directly into the patient room without using a hand hygiene dispenser. We're also using these algorithms to continuously recognize patient care activities, such as moving a person in or out of bed, or transferring them to a chair. 
This can have uses such as monitoring for sufficient mobilization of patients, which is important for preventing complications such as ICU-acquired weakness and pneumonia. Moving forward, my goal is to take this ambient intelligence throughout a hospital and feed that back into systems that can provide real-time assistance to overburdened physicians and nurses. Ambient intelligence can be a constantly aware and untiring assistant that can watch for error in complex procedures, monitor patient status when doctors and nurses are not at the bedside, provide automated documentation of patient care activities, and much more. I'll conclude by saying that as we approach the 2030 problem, which is the year when the entire baby boomer generation will be senior citizens, our ability to deliver quality health care to this aging population will be a serious challenge. And I believe an important part of the solution will be AI-assisted healthcare spaces, where ambient intelligence will, be, will become invaluable assistants and partners to clinicians and caregivers. Thank you.